Hi, I'm Coach Jeremiah Boswell, and welcome to the NBA G League Virtual Fan Fest presented by Wilson. I don't know about you guys, but I've loved the new Wilson basketball. Uh, we are joined by a couple of very, very special guests. First of all, we have Moses Hambe. He played at Oral Roberts. He did a couple of different stops from the G League. He played all over the world. And now he's actually on staff with the Minnesota Timberwolves on and off the court with player development. Moses, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, man. I'm super excited to get this thing going. Real quick, what was your favorite G League moment and why? Oh, that's that's pretty easy. I'm going to have to go with in 2011 playing for the Iowa Wolves and won, win, winning the championship. That was probably the best experience ever, man. Hey, can't top a championship. That's pretty nice right there. No. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And we also have Cassius Winston. Many of you may know him already. In, in Michigan, he was Mr. Basketball in high school. He went on to Michigan State where he was Big Ten Player of the Year. He was also drafted into the NBA in 2020. He now plays with the Wizards and Go-Go. Question for you. You get to split time both ways, right, Cassius? You spend time with the, the NBA team and the G League team. So tell us something positive about your experience, something you like about spending time with the G League team. Oh, spending time with the G League team is great. Uh, just that level of guys just working to, you know what I'm saying, make it in the league. Uh, everybody there plays extremely hard play together, everybody's working hard, and it's a talented league. It's a lot of talent through there, through that G League level, so it's a lot of fun to play at that level. I love it. Get those good reps in. Yeah. Play hard with talented guys. I love it. That's good stuff. So we're going to jump right in. We've got kids all over the place that want to jump in and work out with you guys, so we're going to do it. As you can see at home, we have our own little space, a basketball, grab some water, and we're going to get started. So first and foremost, we have to make sure we're warmed up and our bodies are prepared to play. So as a part of our warm up, our first drill is going to be chest, chest, toss, and clap. So, very simply, we're going to bring the ball out, stretch our chest. We're going to do it on the other side. That's chest, chest. We toss it, clap, and wrap behind our back and go right into it again. So, it's chest, chest, toss, clap, wrap. Chest, chest, toss, clap, wrap. There we go. Good. Get that chest going. Yep. Ah. I have to say it to myself sometimes or I mess up. <laughs> chest, chest, toss, clap, breath. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Get that upper body ready to go. Great job, guys. Great job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Good. Now we're going to get those legs going a little bit. So we're going to go side lunge, tap the ball outside that foot, and come back into a shot fake. We're going to do that six each way. So I'll demonstrate first. So right here, we're going to go side lunge, tap, shot take. Side lunge, tap, shot take. Six each way. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Good lunges. Get a good stretch out of that. Get those legs going, that base nice and strong. Muscles firing. Great job. Six each way. Six each way. This is not a race. This is nice and thorough. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect. Next one's going to be hop, hop, and switch. So we're going to hop, hop on our left foot and then push out wide to our right foot balance. Hop, hop, switch. Okay, so one demonstration here. Hop, hop, switch. Hop, hop, switch. All right, get those quick twitch muscles firing. Here we go. Hop, hop, and switch. Hop, hop, and switch. There we go. And as you get warm, you can stretch out that lateral push a little bit further. All right, basketball is about having these long strides, starting, exploding out, and stopping and catching your body weight. Great job. Great job. Good job. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Good job. All right. All right, Cassius, real quick before we get into the next part. Tell us something you remember about your youth basketball experience that was a positive or just a fun memory you had from, from playing as a kid. Oh, man. I remember doing things like this. I remember being a little kid, watching people, you know what I'm saying, going to camps, going to clinics, just doing all things like this, watching people who already did it or already ahead of me and just looking up to those people and trying to follow in those footsteps. So to be that young, I still remember, like, loving the game, like, just, you know what I'm saying, pure sport of the game. So I remember that feeling. 
you know what I'm saying? I still try to carry that with me today. It's crazy how you're that guy now, right? Right, you know, yeah, and I'm in that other situation just like that, yeah. Like that, you're that guy. All right, so we're going to work on our handle here now, okay? okay? So first thing we're going to do is just work on our crossover. So we're going to go low and tight, knee to knee, swing it back and forth as quick as we can, okay? So when I say go, we're just here, nice and tight, nice and low, all right? Start three, two, one, let's go. Low and tight, low and tight, low and tight. Good. Cash just started right with those eyes up. Good job, Moses. Same thing. Swinging them side to side. That's perfect. That's perfect. We want to get comfort with the ball. Comfort with it. Perfect. Great job. Great job. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. So now what we're going to do is cross over. As the ball is in that hand, after it bounced, we're going to touch the floor with the other hand. So we cross and touch the floor. So we're here. We cross, touch, cross, touch, cross, touch, cross, touch. So the ball swings a little wider. Keep our eyes up. We're getting into those legs a little bit. All right, here we go. Here we go. Cross and touch, cross and touch, cross and touch. You gotta get those legs dropping down a little bit. That's perfect, Moses. Good. Hips engaged. That's great. That's great. Keep working on that. There we go. Five. Four, three, two, one. Great job. The move a lot of guys use now is that early cross and the jab. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cross over. When the ball hits the other hand, we jab with our foot in the other direction. So it's going to look like this. Cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab. So we're going to cross and jab, cross and jab. Here we go. Here we go. Nice, catches. Perfect, perfect. Nice. The ball's bouncing back up. We jab with that opposite foot and sell it to the defender. The fun part, we get to put it all together, make it a race. We're racing with all the kids across the world. So we're going to do 50 low and tight crossovers. We got to count on our own. So 50 low and tight, boom, 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 50 of them. Then we go 10, cross and touch, two, three. And then we go 10, cross and jab with the foot. So 50, 10, 10. You guys got it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's nice. go. Ready. I'm going to race too. Ready. Let's do it. Oh, they can't mess with me. I said I would. I know I would. I'd be every camper there. I already know. I already know. I'd be every camper. Did you catch this? I would, yeah. Tell all the campers I would. Yeah. We're just going to go double moves now. So working on controlling the ball, we might go cross-cross, between, behind, in and out, cross, whatever you guys want on a double move. move. The way we start is we're going to toss the ball. Okay, when we touch it, we go double move. We're going to go 10 reps. So it's toss, double move, toss, double move. All right? So toss and double move 10 times at your pace. Here we go. All right, so that's perfect, guys. Great work. Yeah. That's how we get better. Yes, sir. 10 reps, 10 reps. Good. Great job. Great job, fellas. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, last ball handling here. Now we're just gonna start by dribbling low with our right hand. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it out. So you're dribbling with your right hand, I'm gonna say between, or I might say behind, cross. Whatever I say, we do it, and then we're in that hand dribbling stationary again. All right? Got yep. it? Yep, let's do it. In those knees, starting a good stance. Right hand dribble, let's go. Right hand dribble, go behind. Cross behind. Good. Between, between. Good. Between, behind. Good. Between. Good job. Relax. Good job. That's perfect. That's perfect. We're going to let our heart rate come down here for this next one. Okay, we're going to do a little form shooting. Most of the time, I'm going to ask you a question once we get going. All right? Okay. So, for this form shooting, we're going to keep our guide hand beside, beside the ball. 
We're going to lift it up, keep the guide hand beside it, and go up high and follow through. Okay, we're just going to rep that out a little bit. If you don't have much height, you can do it without the basketball. Okay. If you don't have enough height, you, if the ceiling's kind of tight, you go without the basketball. Just think about that perfect shot, perfect form. And Moses, while you're doing that, I wanted to ask, you know, how did your G League experience help you in your new role as you step into this new role with, with the Timberwolves? How do you think your G League experience helped you? You know, I think it helps me because basketball is a universal language. You know, when you go into the league to um, – mentor these guys and assist them in being their best, uh, living their best life, being the best for themselves, you know? Guys listen to you if they know you've been through the grind yourself, you know? So I think uh, that playing experience, uh, the, 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 the relationships that I've cultivated, you know, has helped me to, will help me in this role. Um, so I'm very excited, man. I love it. That's great. You got to visualize it, right? You got to get the yeah. feel, get that touch. One of the things that never change. You always get in the gym, this is the first thing you do. Make sure you form right. Make sure the ball feeling all right in your hand. Perfect. All right, Moses, I'm happy to see we have the special guest with us now. So we're going to finish out this last drill with this. It's going to be a lot of fun. It incorporates defense, ball handling, and racing. All right. You guys get to compete with an NBA player, Cassius Winston. So we're going to jump right in. This drill, what we're going to do is we're going to chop our feet nice and quick. When I say go, I'll clap. We're going to pick up the ball. We're going to do a shot fake and jab this way. We'll shot fake and jab the other way. And then we're going to race to the first one to complete 20 crossovers. All right, everybody got it? Let's do it. I'm ready. All right. It's going to be quick feet, shot fake, jab, shot fake, jab, 20 crossovers. Chop your feet. Yeah. Then you pick up the ball, shot fake, jab, shot fake, jab, then crossover. They got it. Perfect. Perfect. All right. We are going to jump right into this drill. You're going to start chopping your feet. All right. When I say go and I clap my hand, that means you're going to pick up the ball for your shot fake jabs, one each way, and then 20 crossovers. Ready? Okay. Chop your feet. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Oh. Go. Shot fake jab, one each way. Shot fake jab. Good. Crossovers. First one to 20. Oh, 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 oh. Back up. Good. Yeah, I think they can have that one. I think they got me beat. I think they got me beat. I can't compete with them. Too fast. All right. Hey, <laughs> great job. Thank you guys for jumping in. I uh, really want to thank Moses, the kids, the family, Cassius for taking time out. I know you had a workout today. Um, we wish you the best of luck, both of you, to this season and this season. But really, thank you to the G League and the virtual fan fest presented by Wilson. Awesome time. Thank you, guys. Any closing words from you? Hard work, man. That's the most important thing. Hard work and having fun. You keep doing those things, there's no telling where you can take it. So appreciate y'all coming out and hope y'all had a good time.